The American experiment, the workings of this constitutional republic, is at a critical juncture. What I become convinced of is that the state of our politics is a reflection of the state of our souls. That the kind of people we are has much to do with the kind of politics that we have. The question as believers that we need to ask is, who should we be in the midst of the society in which we live? There is a lot of conversation going on. There is a lot on every side. And I would urge people to realize that every human being that you're speaking to or speaking about was made in the image of God. Today is a day that you are gonna hear from a lot of people. And I hope that as you're hearing all of this, you'll be able to take this time and do a self out of how the Lord is working in your life and what that might mean for our political engagement. We need to be able to discern the lies from the truth. And we get really good at discerning the lies from the truth when the story of the Christian gospel is deep in our bones. When we talk about people who we think are problematic culturally, whether they're problematic socially or in terms of theology and religion or politically or whatever the case might be, we think of those as being in the wrong and we think of ways in which we can disprove whatever theory it is that undergirds their worldview. But we don't think in terms of relational engagement that can lead to better understanding and potentially transformation. Where you can have impact is the way you live out your life. Instead of criticizing, help. Even the smallest among us deserves a voice and an advocate. Everyone has a story. Everyone has a testimony, even when their anger and prejudice hides it from us. You are no longer strangers and foreigners. You are citizens and members. What is our calling and what ought to be our posture in that space? I come to suggest today that we must be advocates. 